you know, to just, even just you, you in a truck, then whatever plumbing uniform you're wearing needs to be, well, you don't look like a plumber. Mm-hmm. I got Absolutely. Right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 391st episode of Potty Talk. And we're getting up there. Getting close to 400. Yeah, we That's are. exciting. Okay. Hey, it's good to have you here. I've been looking forward to this episode, mm-hmm. as always. I look forward to every episode. <laughs> I'm going to have you say one time, I'm not looking hey, forward to this but episode. I, this information <laughs> is so important. You know, and I get asked these kinds of questions and all this kind of stuff all the time. Or, you know, I know these, these different things make a difference yes. in achieving the success that we're looking for in our plumbing businesses, right? That's true. Well, today, mm-hmm. we're talking about how to dress for plumbing business success. Oh. How to dress. Have, okay. you, have you heard the, the saying that what, the clothes... Clothes make the man. Clothes make the man. Mm-hmm. And that is so true. There's a reason sayings are sayings. Yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know. I, it, it may not sound fair right, or, or it may sound silly. Whatever. But, but it is so true. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and so we're, we're going to get into that because it, this is, is one of the issues I, I see that when we're working with, you know, with our clients and our students in the academy and all mm-hmm. this. And I get it. You know, I come from the trenches. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I'm not a suit and tie guy. <laughs> now, I've learned to wear a suit and tie, and you sometimes I can feel kind of good, you know. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, baby. <laughs> you know, get a little cleaned up. But that's not my natural bent, mm-hmm. you know. Right. Um, I'm, I'm a little more casual. Mm-hmm. And, and probably even some guys would say I'm not as casual as, as a lot of guys are. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of guys are really T-shirt guys, right. you know, T-shirt and, you know, camo pants or whatever, that kind of, which is cool, mm-hmm. all right? Mm-hmm. But... We're in, in the business realm. Correct. And okay. Mm-hmm. It, there's also a state of mind there as well. So let's okay. let's get into it. Okay. Right. How are we talking mm-hmm. about about uh, you know how to dress for plumbing business success? Okay. Okay. First point. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I kind of le- you know, get to this. It, it is it is kind of the mind thing. Okay. We got to let go of the past. Okay. We got we got to let go. You know, I've been I've been <laughs> so, I'm so good at plumbing. I've been very good, and you know, I just it's just how I dress. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I wear these. I wear these work boots. What, what are the wear, pants called? Dickies or something? Or, or, yeah. Wear the Dickies right? or what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my work boots, right? right? And and I've got an old T-shirt on. That's the name of you know my company and. Right, it may have been washed recently, may not have been. Exactly. <laughs> In fact, I I, got, I remember at one point I went with a new company, and I was I was still an apprentice mm-hmm. at this time. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh, but I would I just wore a clean I clean uniform every day. And if you remember, I used to iron my uniforms, <laughs> which a lot of well, I certainly started. remember. That, that comes from the navy. You had, you had creases on. I your did because I comes from the navy. Yes. I mean, in the service of creasing mm-hmm. creasing my sleeves mm-hmm. and you know that kind of thing. So I was always clean. Mm-hmm. And the guys would make fun of me in the morning for <laughs> showing up would. with a clean uniform. Mm-hmm. Now, how dare you stand out and, and be different and take your career <laughs> right, seriously? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Well, what that led to is, and this, this is a good example, in that environment, I was an apprentice, and these, there were many guys, this was a big shop, that were better and more experienced plumbers than, than I was. Mm-hmm. But I wound up getting my own service truck mm-hmm. within, a, within the first six months mm-hmm. of being at the company. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, mm-hmm. and it largely, and I, even though I wasn't a lead guy, I wasn't a juryman. I didn't mm-hmm. have, but I got struck because I looked the part. Right. Okay. Which then equaled, equaled other things. Right. So, mm-hmm. you know, I just had to let go. And, but we see this with, with plumbing, you know, on, entrepreneurs that are, you know, they start a plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they're still dressing like yes. a plumber. Right. Right. So stop. <laughs> that's okay. one is, that, thing, is that what we're getting at? Stop, <laughs> stop right. doing it. Right. One thing that we have, you know, told a number of our clients who was really struggling yeah. with that of that. Well, this is who I am, and I've been a plumber, and and whatever, and I want to feel. I don't know if you want to talk about that. Um, you know, I I, I want of the guys to feel like we're one big team, yes. right? Well, we had them. We've had a number of our clients burn their uniforms. Literally, you're taking those. Work pants, oh, oh. dickies, or whatever what they were. What have you were, been wearing? Whatever you've been wearing. It's symbolic. Those old T-shirts, the boots, all the things, and pour gasoline on it and burn them. Right. And um, you know, I remember a couple of clients were like, "What? Okay, no, what? No way!" And then you know, we finally convinced them. Yes, it's this right. and all the reasons to do it. And they're like, "Well, okay, I'll do it." And they didn't realize how emotional it was. Yes. When they did it, right? So it was like stripping off who I used to be because again we talk about all the time when you go from a plumber to another company then you start your own and you're chuck chucking a truck by yourself and then you're as your company's starting to grow and you've got more employees that is it's just a weird thing it's 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 a mind thing right and so for to burn those uniforms was 
like just shedding an old um, personality. Off, we, we see right? it. It is so, and it is emotional. The reason it's so emotional is because it's who we've been. It's right. it's who we've been, and we feel like, and it's, it's who we know. Well, it's it's very comfy. Right. It's, right. it's our comfortable spot. And so, and, and our so, happy place. Right. <laughs> so it's letting go. It's it's burning that. You know, and it's so important not to look like the other guys. Mm-hmm. Not not to be part of the other guys. Even right. if you're still just you in a truck. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. It's still, and, and it, you know, if it's just, even just you, you in a truck, then whatever the plumbing uniform you're wearing needs to be, well, you don't look like a plumber. Mm-hmm. I got, Absolutely. Right. And it may be just because you're, you know, it's just very sharp and mm-hmm. embroidered. It's a step up, you know. Right. It, it's important to do those kinds of things, mm-hmm. okay? And then once you do get guys, then to have, you know, they're in one uniform, and you still may be in the truck, but your uniform should still be different. Most assuredly. Yes. Yes. Um, and again, I, I really, we really do recommend that, and I don't know if we're going to talk more about this. Really, do recommend taking your uniforms, especially if you've got a couple of techs now working for you. You take your old uniforms, all of it, and burn them. And burn, right? <laughs> Have a ceremony, you and your wife, maybe bring the kids around. Say this is this part. This is the start of a new life, right? right. I'm no longer a plumber. I'm no longer a plumber. I'm a CEO of my own plumbing business. If you started a plumbing business, you've done something that. 99% of the, the world can't even comprehend doing, the, right? Th- this thing right here we see with our clients and even, even you know, those in the academy that um, those that can grasp this concept rather quickly and see themselves and put themselves in a different light, mm-hmm. just their success just goes straight right. up. Those, they could be the best plumbers and they're still doing this stuff and all, but they still – have themselves as a plumber in mm-hmm. this heavy blue collar. And look, I'm proud. I come from blue, blue collar roots. Of course. I mean, it's, it's what's mm-hmm. what made us, right? you know, but uh, you've chosen to start a plumbing business. Right. And so your role is different now. It's different. It's different. Right. And you have to look at yourself different mm-hmm. and you have to look different. Yes. People judge a book by its cover. Mm. That may not sound fair. It may not be <laughs> fair. It may not be a safe saying. and warm <laughs> place to be, but it's a reality. Yes. You walk off the cliff, you're going to fall. <laughs> People judge a book by its cover. There's yes. just certain laws in the universe. Yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right? Absolutely. All right. So take take some time. True. Okay. I, I, we, really, we really do mean this. I, and and have, a, um, have a little burning party this next weekend with you and, and your family. Or you know, if you're not married, bring it somebody around or something or if you want to do it just to have a your own little meditation well, moment right. or something right but burn the uniforms you're, you're different now right you're different you have to look at yourself like and that. i know it may sound silly but <clears throat> this is the difference yes let's face it home service companies are a dime a dozen mrs jones has many to choose from it may not be pc but she does judge a book by its cover that's why there's kick charge the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge and start getting noticed today. You know, and it's, it's, it's the example, you know, when you're talking with banks and that kind of, you dress like a banker, mm-hmm. you know, there, there's just that you can fight it all you want. Right. Now, once you become a billionaire, you can dress however you want. Okay. <laughs> all right. <Yeah. laughs> all right. <laughs> at, that, at that point you can be, you can be like, this is who I am, <laughs> but you got to play the game to right. that point. You know, there's a famous, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, I'm a Steve Jobs fan. So, you know, he wasn't the best human being, um, but, but he was a, you know, um, a creator. Absolutely. Right and, ch- and change the world, mm-hmm. and you know he was he was just a barefoot hippie, mm-hmm. wearing a Fu Manchu, <laughs> long hair, barefoot hippie. Mm-hmm. All right, Before when, he when, started when, Apple. When, well, even when Apple oh, yeah. started, yeah. but yeah. Mm-hmm. he finally he finally saw the light, and when he showed up at the you know the tech stuff, or all, all of a sudden he shaved his Fu, Fu Manchu, mm-hmm. he's cut his hair, and he's wearing a suit, right? You know, and walked with, into with, his right, office with a tie and mm-hmm. and all that to. And because that's, he, I'm, I'm the leader. I got to be perceived as a leader. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Even though in his heart, all through his life, he was still that, you know, hippie, right. long hair, Fu mm-hmm. Manchu hippie. Kind um, of against, more, going against the grain, right. going against society. But <clears throat> he, he had to dress in, yes. a, in a certain way. And, and it put his mindset in, in a certain way. Well, right. It sure. took him, exactly. Mm-hmm. Big deal there. So burn your uniforms. Okay. <laughs> burn them, burn them, burn them, burn them. All right. Because mm-hmm. the point that leads to our point number two here. Mm-hmm. With with way you, way you dress, it establishes authority. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we're just plumbers. I'm I'm a, I'm a plumber. No. Right. My well, job's I, dirty. Right. 
e- even in, you know, in the military, you know, and, you know, you had, you had enlisted men and you have officers, okay? The enlisted men wear different uniform than the officers. The officers wear a different uniform than the, than the enlisted men. They True. get different. I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's a sign of authority. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, we're still, we're all in the Navy. Mm-hmm. Well, no, well, you know, but there's different, there's different levels. Correct. Okay. Yes. And so, it, you know, if you're looking like your guys, they're not going to take you seriously. Mm-hmm. They, they just aren't. They're not, they, they don't want you to be yeah. a part of the guys and, and, you know, one big happy crew that we're all the same and whatever. They really don't want that. And you don't want that as well because it, it, it lowers your authority. Yeah. Right. So I'm dressing differently. And even if, you know, and again, you may not be the uh, suit and tie, and we're certainly not I saying think. that, but um, if you've got a, you know, a polo shirt with your logo on it, that's different, right? right. It's just something different than your, your employees, your technicians. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even just, you, know, you, you may be in, you know, Converse tennis shoes. I'm a con- I like, I like Converse. I know. Like it's one of the kind of things that I kind of. We've had to add Why? on to our house for the number of Converse I like all the different shoes you have. Colors and the Converse, and it's just fun. <laughs> it's it's my it's my thing. Okay, I so I and I so it, you can wear those. Mm-hmm. Okay, w- right. with that kind of. So I'm not saying you have to. Yeah, again, you don't have to wear a suit because that's always the big concern. Well, I don't like suits. I don't wear this or that. I'm not saying you don't have to be that. Mm-hmm. You have to be different. Right. And you have to be sharp within the style. Yes. Yes. So. For sure. Um, clean right. and sharp. And so if you do like something that's just a little bit more casual, well, then make it be nice. Don't, guys, okay, don't right. go to Walmart and get your clothes. Okay, you, right. you own a plumbing business. Um, <laughs> hopefully you're making a, a profit. Take some of that and go buy something nice. Go to a nice store. These clothes last way longer than anything you're going to get at Walmart and even Kohl's for that matter, right? right? right. They're, these Go to you know a nice department store and have someone there help you. You know, someone that is in the department and can you can say, I have no idea. I have no idea what my style is or whatever. I just want to feel, look better. And I, I work in the field and I meet with, with customers or, or whatever. So right. take some time and, and buy nice things. Again, it doesn't have to be dress shoes either. It can still be boots, just nicer boots. Nicer not, boots, not right. The, um, oh, what are the kind of boots that I'm trying to think yeah, of? Like the, Red Wings yeah, or yeah, yeah. the... the mm-hmm. um, Wolverines yeah. or, you know, that kind of stuff. No, right. go, go get some f- d- fun, different boots, right? Again, guys, I, I almost drill this on every potty talk. You started a plumbing business for a reason. You started your plumbing business for a reason. I can't imagine that it was so that you could plumb until you drop dead at right. age 60 and your knees are gone, right? That's not why you started your plumbing business. So you have, you have to accept the role that you've taken on as the CEO of your own plumbing business yeah. and dressing correctly and differently from your plumbers. You know, one, one of the transitions, key. yeah, because one of the difficult transitions is going from where I'm still in the truck and in hiring good guys, mm-hmm. okay? Um, and, and so it is extremely important that when you're meeting with these guys, they don't see you as just another plumber. They don't now see they, you as a part of the litter. Right. Mm-hmm. That you may, they may uh, they'll understand that, okay, the, the size of the company, you still work in the field, mm-hmm. but you still have to differentiate yourself that, that I'm, you know, I'm not just a grunt here. Yeah, I'm the authority. I'm not, right. Mm-hmm. I'm and, God right. in this company. And so you do that subconsciously mm-hmm. by the way you dress. Correct. So, yeah, if you yeah. are going to interview a plumber, again, this, maybe it's just you in the truck. You've got, you know, a helper or just one other guy, and you're hiring someone, um, and you're doing it during the course of the day, and you've been in the truck. Have a different outfit right. in the truck so before you meet with this potential new hire that you put on something different. You don't meet them by the side of the truck right. on a job site um, and then just in your crappy old clothes that are dirty and your boots are caked with mud and all that. That gives no confidence at all to a new, um, a potential new no. employee. None. Yeah, we, we think, and that, that's, that's a good point there, and I, we're kind of kind of veering off the whole idea of what we're wearing, but it's, it's important because of what we wear and how we're perceived because we often think that if this new hire sees me as a plumber, that they're going to trust me because I'm a plumber and we, right. we can do plumbing, so I know plumbing. Right. That's not what's happening that here. That is not what's happening. They, they, the, who you're hiring knows plumbing. I know, I know plumbing. And they probably think they're better than you. Right. But is this a, <laughs> and that, and you want that, by the way. Right. You want that. <laughs> so, so many guys are afraid of that. Mm. You, you, you want that. Um, and then, but what they're really looking for is this a real company? Right. Well, oh, I, well I have work. 
Why? Why? So I have a job. Can I, I trust this guy to run right. this company properly so that I get my paycheck every week? And if he sees and you, I can have like, insurance. Like you, I know it sounds silly, but if he sees you, and this, I mean, this is year thirty years of dealing with this. Mm-hmm. All right, and it's never the the, clo- the styles have changed, but the attitudes have not. Nope. If they still see you as a plumber <clears throat> and dress like a plumber, I'm a plumber. You're not any better than I am. Right. I don't. I'm not going to trust you with my life. Right. That's that's what's happening there. Are that's you, the, are you going to be able to afford to get me decent equipment? Right. Right. Are you going to be able to afford to? I've got a decent truck, and then you'll put gas in it and all that. Right. Um, if you look like them, they're going to think mm, I don't know if I can this trust is, this guy. Right. Mm-hmm. It's shady. So yes. it's important. Okay. All right. Let yep. go of the past. Establish authority. Mm-hmm. Hey, before we go any further, you know I have something for, here for you for joining us. Okay. Check it out. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're talking about how to dress for plumbing business success. Absolutely. And um, one thing we also want to say is wherever you're watching or listening this um, to this podcast, please give us a like, a thumbs up, a review would be amazing. We'd really appreciate that. You guys all know how reviews work. You guys live on reviews. Well, million million dollar plumber needs reviews too. So we share some love. We would appreciate that as well. Help us get the word out. Mm, Yep. Yep. So we're talking about how to, how to dress for plumbing business success. So we've talked about letting go of the past, get over yourself, go burn the outfits, the old uniforms, go burn them. Set fire. It's, get a big old, you know, put some marshmallows over them or whatever. When yeah, you've right. got a big bonfire. <laughs> okay. And also establishing authority. You have to set yourself apart yes. from your employees. And also on, on establishing authority um, with, I know, we touched on this earlier, with a banker or with um, the supply house or whatever. Ha- establish that authority. Don't go, if you're going to go to the bank and look, look for a line of credit, <clears throat> excuse me, or, or whatever, don't go in there with an old crappy uniform or even if, in, even in if a it's uniform, clean. right? Even if it's clean, doesn't yes. matter. You, you have to dress for the part that you're going into. Like we right. talked about with what Steve Jobs did. Right. Mm-hmm. I just don't understand why I just can't get ahead or why I can't. And a lot of it's, yeah. it's the attitude, which yes. leads to the, a final point here. Mm-hmm. And we've kind of, kind of already mentioned it. If not mentioned it, the CEO mindset, mm-hmm. it, that, that mindset is so important. And you've got to change that mindset. And, and the way we change our mindset is in, a, you know, our, our internal energy, mm-hmm. all right, um, what we're thinking and, and how we dress. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the dressing part is important. Yes. You, you, ever, you ever notice, sweetheart, when yes. we go out on date night, don't we feel good? We can work all week mm-hmm. and even, even on a Fridays. Fridays are our date nights for us. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when we, all right. And we can just be kind of tired and wore out, <laughs> you know, just it'd be nice to stay in. But once we get cleaned up. Mm-hmm. And we're kind of, all of a sudden, so we're, feeling, we're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we feel good about ourselves mm-hmm. and we feel like we got all this energy. Let's go out and mm-hmm. have a good time. Right. You know, yes. it, it is. And it, it was just changing that state. Correct. Right. Um, and I'll just, if you start doing this, which we highly recommend doing it, um, you'll be surprised at how it really does make you feel. Yeah. It, it really, really does. It change. It changes your mindset. It, you start to look at yourself now as the CEO of your own plumbing business that you started. Your plumbing business did not exist until you decided to start it. Guys, that's huge. So give yourself some credit. Again, like I said earlier, you're 1% of the population that decided to go out and start your own your own business. Right. Um, so that mindset, you, you will be surprised at how it, it definitely makes you feel once you start doing that. And, and it makes it, and things, things start happening. Mm-hmm. So when we start dressing like like where we're headed, mm-hmm. okay, it not where we're the, at. It puts you in the been. mindset of where you want to be. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I know, and it's, it's, such a, it's such a simple thing. <laughs> and it's one of those things that just sounds kind of fluffy and mm-hmm. hard to explain, mm-hmm. you know. Until you do it. Right. So, yeah, we definitely are throwing down a challenge. And we've seen it now hundreds of times. Yes. It makes it, it's so clear. The mm-hmm. ones that, that, all, that take on this new persona, mm-hmm. which is I'm, I'm a businessman. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm no longer a plumber. doesn't mean you're not good at plumbing and all that. It wasn't good and whatever. But the, those that still look at themselves as plumbers or, you know, I'm, I'm you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a, I'm a blue-collar guy. Mm-hmm. All right, and we can be proud of our roots. But those that still put themselves, they're in that situation. Mm-hmm. All right, 
struggle. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely right. struggle. And typically don't grow their business very big. No. Nope. Right? Or to the size that they, they say that they want. So th- that is the thing, too, is, you know, again, you started your plumbing business, um, it, but if you, if all, not all, that's not how I want to say it, but if, if you want to be a plumber, if that is your identity, and you're like, man, I, I, that's me, I love working with my hands, like all the things, again, you say it a million times, go be a great plumber for someone else. Exactly. Like, go be a great plumber for somebody else. It's, it's silly um, to continue to be in the mindset of a plumber when you now have three, four, five guys working for you. That is, that's just silly. So exactly, mm. you know, so, mm. it, and also one thing I want to say, um, from a mindset standpoint is who you hang around mm. that, that also helps the mindset. I know we're talking about clothes, but start hanging around and you're dressing correctly, right? Start hanging around other business people, whether it be, you know, at the chamber or at the rotary or, you know, there's some different, you know, BNI groups, which sometimes those are good, sometimes they're bad, but just something to where you're around others that are forward thinking, especially if you're struggling in the area of how do I become, get the mindset of being a CEO, start hanging around other people that are forward thinking, that are looking to grow their business, whatever it is, doesn't have to be plumbing for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, But be around those people that have that positive energy. So very good. Nuggets of gold there, baby. Bonus section right there. Nuggets of gold. (laughs) All right. It's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dress for plumbing business success. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. I know I was actually was trying to think of something else. Um, that you know, as we've watched other some of our clients go from you know Joe Smith Plumbing or whatever it might be, and, and they rebrand and they get a whole new persona with their their business, you know, new brand, you know, especially going through something like Kick Charge. Highly recommend Kick Charge, Dan Antonelli and team just does amazing job. Yes, um, they do. You get those a, a, a brand new um, brand, and then you put on a polo shirt, you know, a nice polo shirt like this with your brand on it. That that changes your mindset as well. You can look at that and go, man, I did that, right? right? That I'm creating this. I'm doing this for for my family, for you know me and me and my family, um, for not necessarily community, but for <laughs> <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Um, but for your family, you're changing um, the trajectory of your family. So and well, that that helps to get yourself into that mindset. And it's also we haven't hit on this yet, but the value it gives more value mm. to to the work we're doing. Our, our customers don't value the plumbing. No. They, they, they don't, the, the value is not in the plumbing. It's in getting their day back and it's the experience. Right. Right. So if you're showing up again, you're showing up in some crappy old um, out, outfit. Why do I keep saying that? Uniform, <laughs> right? Some old dickies, they have stains all over them. What is it? You know, pipe glue or whatever, all over them, yep. right? Your boots, mud, or they certainly look like they've seen their better days. An old t-shirt. You've just lowered your value to the, to the customer. You, you completely lower. You've set. You just told them, "I'm I'm kind of worth." Well, but I'm maybe working a handyman. here. I'm working here. Mm-hmm. You can work all you want. Right. You're going to work right. yourself into the poorhouse. So yes, you um, will. Yeah, guys, that that's part of it too. Creating, you know, doing the rebranding, having good, clean uniforms for you, well, not you, but your for your plumbers increases the value as you step into Mrs. Jones's house. Yes, for sure. So all right, all right. I, and here's what I'm going to say too: If you do take our challenge and burn some uniforms post a picture out on um, our facebook page we'd, we'd love to see that um go, we've got a free facebook group plumbing business success group it's for plumbing business owners only there are no um just um it's yeah, no gonna, other hvac whatever it's plumbing business owners so it's plumbing business success group on facebook go on and post it you know put, take the challenge and say okay i burnt it i'm burnt free I'm, I'm free i'm a ceo of my own plumbing company that's right mm-hmm. There we go. Also, you. if you're looking to take your plumbing business to the next level or you're just you're starting out and it's just it feels like you're living week to week, you know, paycheck to paycheck. All right. The harder you work, the less you make. Does it ever feel like that? <laughs> I think we're the only ones that that happened when we started our plumbing business. <laughs> and then it's just us. And then what do I do to make the phone ring? And mm-hmm. how much should I charge? And, and how know. do I really think like a CEO? All yes, those things. All those things. OK, mm-hmm. well, you can. We'd like to point you in the right direction, mm-hmm. all right? In fact, we're, we're talking about the Success Academy here. You hear us mention that here, but you don't have to go right to that. What we like to do, we want to help you. Mm-hmm. And you can schedule a free strategy call, all right, with one of my strategic advisors. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, we're not going to push anything on. I'm not going to sell anything. You know, if, if, if the Success Academy is something that works for you and we think it would be good for you, you're going to be, off, be offered up or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is we want to we solve an issue that you're dealing with and get you pointing in the right direction. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So schedule your free strategy call. Mm -hmm. Just go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. C-A-L-L. -L. Okay. Yes, and, and you that. can schedule a, um, a meeting super easy, super quick. Yep. Look forward to speaking with you. Yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Dress for... Plumbing business success. Mm -hmm. Another great episode here. Another Good great episode, here. if we do say so. Still <laughs> Important stuff here. I know when I when I first looking at these notes and going to these notes, I know I hear guys. This is so silly, you know, about how we dress, or, but it is so important. It's one of those, it is one of those things that matters. Yes. Yeah, so trust us on this one. It, it just just matters. Okay. So spend some time thinking about it. Yep. All right. Okay. Hey, but before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.